I am about to start working on my next project, which is McCall's 8386. This pattern is rated as easy and I really like it because each view has different sleeves. So view B, you have puffy sleeves and then the sleeve is straight. View A is just a short puffy sleeve. And on view C, you actually have pleats at the top of the sleeve and then it's a straight sleeve. And it took me a while to figure out which view I wanted to make, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and make view C. And there are seven pattern pieces. Now the upper, bodice is lined but I don't think I'm gonna line mine and there is an invisible zipper that goes on one of the sides and then for my fabric I'm just going to use this lightweight denim I'm cutting out a size 8 and this is one of those patterns where you have to measure your bust and then you measure your high bust and then you find the difference and then you have to cut out the appropriate size, cup size. So either A cup, B cup, C cup, or up to a D cup. Up, oh, I found two more pieces that I needed to cut out. So you actually need nine pieces. And this is the front neck interfacing and the back neck interfacing. You don't have to cut these out of fabric, just interfacing only. People will go anywhere if you offer to feed them. And now you're here and you're thinking, well, I don't, she just called me a thief. Well, the Bible says that God is constantly standing by. And you know what that means? He sees and hears every single thing that we do. And we can hide it from somebody else, but we don't hide it from God. And someday, we're going to stand before Him and give an accounting of our life. And I don't say that to frighten you, because I, I probably think you can do a lot of that kind of stuff and still go to heaven. But it doesn't honor God. We have darts in the front. We also have darts in the back. And then this opening here is for the zipper. So it will be placed on the left side. This is how the top is looking so far. The next step is for me to put the invisible zipper on the side. And then for the neckline, instead of using a lining, I'm just going to finish it with bias tape. I haven't put in my invisible zipper yet. I was thinking about it and I think I want to add piping around the neckline so I'm cutting out a strip of fabric on the bias and then I'm going to insert some cording through this strip of fabric let me get my scissors or my rotary cutter and I'm going to just create my own piping so that it will match the neckline and if this strip isn't long enough, then I'll have to cut out another strip. I have this package of cording that I purchased on Amazon. It's about an eighth of an inch wide in thickness. So I'm going to place the cording inside of the bias tape, which is about an inch and a half wide. Then I'm going to fold the strip of fabric over and stitch really close to the edge here with the zipper foot. And then I can place this along the neck edge. Here is the bias tape with the cording in there and I have it placed along the neck edge. So when I get to this point, I will just go ahead and stitch close to this cording and then I will flip everything over to the other side and then stitch again. I finally put the invisible zipper in. Here it is here on the side. I finished the neckline with the piping and now I'm going to work on the sleeves. Here's one sleeve in with the pleat and it's a pretty good size pleat. So now I just need to go ahead and attach the other sleeve. I really like the open neckline on this top. I do think that the sleeves were a little short on me, so if I ever make this again, I will definitely lengthen the sleeves. And I decided not to hem the top. <laughs> 
I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. This is just my little simple outfit of the day. The only thing I have on that I actually made is this coat, which I've shared before. It's a simplicity coat. I wear this thing all the time. So I was in Trader Joe's the other day. I did not know that they sell shredded beef. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. And then when I get in the mood to cook, cause I don't cook every day. But I was like, when I get in the mood to cook next, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm on my way to Trader Joe's right now. I'm gonna pick up some shredded beef. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go to another store and get some chopped vegetables. They're already chopped up and they're in a package already. So that makes it easy and convenient. So I think it's onions and bell pepper and things like that. And then I'm gonna pick up like some type of sandwich bread or hoagie bread. And then that's what I'm gonna cook for the day. Somebody's making their plate. You plan to put lettuce on it? So I bought lettuce, shredded lettuce, and then I also ended up getting some uh, provolone cheese. Let me come on this side. Okay. Mm -hmm. 